we've got to maintain our ability to maneuver. We maneuver information and we maneuver leadership to get to a position of advantage. Installations are the initial maneuver platform of the Army. From outposts to forts to current day installations, the home base of the Army has evolved over time and must continue to evolve in advance of an enemy who will leverage current and future means of attacks to hinder Army missions. Technology creates opportunities for the Army, but also opens up a new realm of vulnerabilities that must be guarded against. Installations are where soldiers live, raise families, train, generate combat power, and conduct warfighting missions. They are part of the modern battle space and thus are subject to attack by an enemy that will leverage conventional, unconventional, or new technology to its advantage. Emerging threats have changed the Army's operational environment. In response, the battle space has expanded we need to reconsider how we view Army installations. They are part of the strategic support area that stretches from the homeland to initial point of entry. In detail, a strategic support area encompasses home ports and stations, strategic sea and air lines of communication, and homeland communications. Traversing through and operating within the strategic support area will undoubtedly require acute cross-combatant command coordination. In the past, terrain, politics, and the enemy were known. Today, multiple adversaries with increasingly sophisticated capabilities are actively using hybrid and asymmetric strategies to pursue their objectives under the threshold of armed conflict. Emerging and non-traditional threats mean installations are now part of the fight. Soldiers live, train, deploy, direct operations, and even fight from their installations. They are exposed and vulnerable to adversaries and disruptions. We must plan for their continued holistic support to our defense. Doctrine must evolve before the Army faces potential enemies, not after. The prevailing challenges facing the U.S. military today demonstrate a battlefield that is being compressed. Yet the framework for multi-domain battle is geographically massive. Inability to assure communications and domain superiority is an entirely new challenge that must be addressed. Our adversaries will seek to strip away the Army's ability to maneuver using cyber, information, and unconventional warfare to deadlock our soldiers and leaders and decouple Army warfighting functions one by one. On July 27, 2017, Popular Mechanics published an article about a Russian drone flying over Ukraine carrying a single thermite grenade which destroyed the largest ammunition depot in the world, killing one, injuring five others and causing over a billion dollars of damage. Exploiting growing vulnerabilities of soft targets on military bases, unconventional saboteurs are using readily available consumer drones not to inflict mass casualties, but to create havoc and take away their adversaries' ability to maneuver. Commercial drones are readily available and reports of incursions into no-fly zones and around military installations are increasing and are cause for alarm and active defense plans. The adversary can use the most routine of devices to impede the Army's mission. We must take a lesson from Ukraine and prepare for this type of attack. A unit is making preparations to deploy. By monitoring social media feeds, an adversary can monitor base operations and activities by what soldiers and families share on the web. Through observation and the information gleaned from online sources, a picture is painted providing the adversary the ability to hinder deployments by destroying a section of the travel route. Past incidents have instilled in the public psyche the possibility of risk to the homeland. Adversaries could create a false narrative, perhaps one even rooted in actual events, of a chemical spill or biological agent release that could cause widespread panic, forcing widespread evacuations. Such a scenario could turn a simple true event, such as road closures for an actual convoy moving chemical materials, into a public relations crisis. The adversary could launch a flurry of social media posts of people suffering from false symptoms or worse. These postings could start to migrate to TV and radio and affect public perception, create panic, and place a strain on the resources of first responders, local authorities, medical staff, facilities, and the installation. What happens when the Army's ability to conduct warfare is attacked? Picked off or disrupted by multiple attacks? We must guard against social media posts that prey upon families and soldiers, hacked computer systems that impede information, power disruptions that affect infrastructure, contaminated water reservoirs that affect performance and morale. What if the enemy creates or capitalizes upon natural disasters that draw upon resources and limit maneuverability, create chaos and cloud focus? What happens when a brigade isn't physically able to deploy? We must update our concepts in the way we think about installations. They are no longer safe havens, but rather the first skirmish lines of future defense. 
In the end, defeating the U.S. Army with its own installations may seem far-fetched, but the fact adversaries seek to deny Army maneuver with them is certainly not. The Army is taking steps to ensure that these vulnerabilities are met head-on and that installations can withstand attacks from multiple domains. Through continual assessment of new technology, the Army will remain informed and prepared to meet challenges from our adversaries. By applying new technology, the Army will create resilient and sustainable communities for our soldiers to live, train, and fight remotely. The Army is planning for the installations of the future that can meet the emerging threats today and ensure our Army always has strong initial maneuver platforms.